Guys, welcome to you learn. Today we are going to start assembly language programming on Emu H086 microprocessor Emu H. I'm not going to. I'm just going to um, <coughs> discuss about the all the programming. I'm not going to discuss about the theory, uh, the theoretical parts uh, because there are lots of uh, tutorials you can find on theoretical uh, part that is on that uh, registers and uh, microprocessor structures everything, architectures everything. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, just you should open this uh, image 06 microprocessor emulator, then select new, then empty workspace. Okay. So before beginning that, uh, I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to tell that um, being that uh, I'd like to inform you that um, you can write uh, this uh, assembly language programming is not case sensitive. You can uh, write in uh, both uppercase and uh, lowercase letters. It doesn't matter. You can write. Uh, you can uh, write this code. Write course um, with both upper and lowercase letters, and uh, you can mix all the like, letters. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's get started. You have to write. I prefer to write course in uppercase letters. I feel comfortable that way. Okay, model small. Sorry, small. Under H, <coughs> then code. Okay, I'm um, today just uh, we are going to beginning the we are going to begin the <coughs> tutorial. Okay, we are beginning to learn it. I'm just going to make this video really short and easy. Okay, okay. This first three lines: model small dot model small dot stack under H and dot code. Uh, you can consider this uh, as library functions, though these are not library functions. Just like uh, C and C plus plus that uh, include Studio H include. Uh, studio H include iStream like this. This is not library functions, but we, uh, for making it easy to understand, you can consider this. Then you have to write this main <coughs> proc prop. This is the procedure. Okay, so you have to write the code inside this main procedure, and you have to end this code by writing uh, more uh, h or ch. In one page, then main np. This np this np means um this 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 np means end of procedure. This this is the main procedure and this is the end of this procedure. Then you have to write end main. Okay, so you have to write the code in between uh this main uh main procedure and these four lines. Okay. Yeah, to end this, the program, you have to write this phone line. And okay, so basically today we are going to learn how to print a character. Just getting started with baby steps. Okay, to print a character, for example, uh, let us take a character like S. I want to print S. So what we have to do? Move a h two comma two. This means this is the this means uh, we if we want to print any character we have to write this line that move h comma two this is like print up in C uh, or C out in C plus plus or uh, um, system dot out dot print ln like Java okay then we have to write move dl if you have learned that about the registers you know what dl means this is the data register uh, dx is the data register uh, data register and uh, there are two parts dh and dl dh is the higher uh, seven bits. Uh, higher 8 bits and the DL is the lower 8 bits so if you want to print anything we have to put it in DL register so we have to print a character if you want to print a character we must uh, keep that character in inverted commas for in S then we have to write int 21 h that is interrupt 21 h okay then let's compile this program now run it we have printed S, and I want to mention one thing that uh, if you don't um, write this line in 21H, interrupt 21H, then it, the character will not print. See for yourself. The program has returned control to the operating system. Uh, this time we cannot see the console window. Okay, again, then let's. Uh, write this into 21H. 
So in order to print anything or in order to take an input, we have to write, we must write interactive knowledge. Interactive knowledge. Okay, then let me show you another thing. That if we uh, that uh, if we write in interactive knowledge again, if we repeat it in the next line, then S will print uh, two times. Let's see. For yourself that uh, this is uh, S has printed uh, two times. We have printed this character two times by um, by writing internal print image two times. Okay. If you want to repeat any character while while printing it, if you want to repeat any character, we can write internal print image uh, the times we want to repeat. It. So we don't need to write again if we uh, this three lines again. We can, uh, simply we can write internal print image. Uh, thank. That's all for now. Thank you everyone. In next video, I am going to teach you that how to take an input and print that input. Thank you very much.